Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Etta here. For those of you who maybe don't know my name, my name is Etta and I am all about wax, love Scentsy, love lots of wax um, candles, all that. But I'm here to talk about the haul that I did from Scentsy. I put it off and put it off and put it off and I finally did the close out of a party where I wanted to kind of stock up on my bring back my bars. That's uh, how I chose to do it this go round. Since I had done all of the scents before, there were two that I remember saying I couldn't remember, so I kind of picked it up early, those two scents. And even like on um, coal sniff, like I remembered my wish once I smelled it. And then the other one was Rustic Lodge. And I was like, gosh, the scent seems so familiar on Coal Sniff. Well, I actually went back through my old inventory sheet and I found Rustic Lodge in there. So yes, I had done Rustic Lodge before. So I did close out my party. I stocked up on Bring Back My Bars. And for my party, I was two dollars shy of the next level so i was like i'm not gonna miss out on an extra half price item um which would help me get another six pack at half price over two dollars so i added a sensi circle in pacific mist so that one got me to the next level and i just if I seem like I'm going quickly and maybe talking a little too fast, it's because um, I'm doing this video early. This will go up on Friday, my usual time slot that I try to do at 5 a.m. But I'm recording this on Sunday, the 25th. And I believe, let's see, that would be 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, the 30th, right? So that'd be the last day of the month. This would be the last opportunity to put the bars in your club if that's what you choose to do or stock up on them. Um, so, but I'm doing this early because for me, the job that I do, I do payroll mostly, um, but I do payroll. So every payroll week is extremely busy. This week is a payroll week and i do some other stuff in my job and it requires me to do things that are close to you know for the end of the month and so end of the month time is very busy for me also and this week will be end of the month so i have payroll and end of the month and then i have family that's coming in early early thursday morning and will be here until sunday so i've got double busy stuff for work that's going to keep me really busy. I've got to get the house in order for when the family comes so that, you know, it doesn't look like a complete disaster. It'll still look messy, but it won't look like a complete disaster. And then with them being here, I won't have time to do certain things. So I was like, let me get this video done now while I still can. And so that I don't think there'll be one for Sunday because they don't even leave until Sunday. I won't have an opportunity to do another video. So I'm going ahead and get this done now and let me go ahead and finish with what I got. So I'll try not to go too, too fast, but when I get, um, when I feel like I'm in a hurry and I got to get things done, I, I tend to talk very fast and I'll probably stumble over my words and everything else. So anyways, for the uh, half price items, I used half price items. I used uh, six packs wax bars because I wanted to do to bring back my bars in there and then even for the host rewards I used towards a, um, a six pack and I had a little a few dollars left over and I didn't want to use that for a six pack because it wasn't that much so instead what I did was I used it for a bottle of oil which would have sort of made the bottle of oil half price so I picked up a bottle of star fruit and orange zest I feel like my uh, camera was blurry. Might just be me, but it looks blurry to me. All right, I've never tried this one and I thought, okay, well this seems like something I would like. So I'm gonna, I don't know if shaking it does anything, but I do it anyways. I'm gonna open it up and give it a quick sniff. Plus I'm in a hurry because hubby's outside and he's waiting for me. So I'm trying to hurry up so I can spend some time with him. Hmm. 
it doesn't come across super strong in the bottle. And I know, you know, like if something's really strong, you know, we tend to say, well, it's going to diffuse. So it's not really going to be as strong as what you smell in, in the bottle. So I'm not getting anything super strong. It's more of a heavy medium or strong medium. It smells nice. I've had some where I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like that. And I actually ended up liking it. So almost like wax. Sometimes you just got to wait until you diffuse it and then see. It smells pretty good. Um, I don't get a strong of either. Like I'm not, I'm not really sure what star fruit is supposed to smell like because I've never actually like just gone out and bought star fruit. Um, but it, I don't get like a strong orange scent from it either. So it smells, it smells pretty good in the bottle. I'm hoping that I truly enjoy it once it diffuses. So that's what I got as the rest of my host rewards. And then for the six packs, I'm actually I'm not going to show you like this six pack, this pack, six pack. No, I'm just going to show you how many I got of each one. And I may go back in maybe later this evening because, again, between work, once work starts tomorrow, I'm not, well, tomorrow for me, Monday, I'm not going to have time for anything, anything. So I um, I may go ahead and get those tonight. I purchased that because I said I really wanted to do my video on the edit for my Sensi Club, but at the time I wasn't remembering that family was coming in. And because I thought, oh, I could probably do it like Friday evening, record it, and then have it up for Sunday. Well, I'm not going to be able to. So I'm probably going to have to do it in July. And I may even skip the July. I have to call. I have to call a consultant, the support line, because I'm a little afraid, only because when they merged those clubs, I want to make sure that that isn't gonna because i'm i haven't skipped in way over a year so that shouldn't create a problem but because they merge them i don't want it to be where all of a sudden i lose some bars because i skip right so i need to call them to make sure that doesn't happen um because i would i would be very upset with some of the bars because some uh, some of them are going away i i have to do that i have to cut a lot and I'm when I do the video I'll go over my reasoning and all that but um so anyways I think I'm gonna try to skip my July shipments because all three because I did start a monthly so all three are set to do July 19th and no because between the three of them it's probably somewhere between five and six hundred dollars I'm not spending that I'm not doing it so I'm going to if I don't have time to edit it before the July 19th, which I should, then I'll have to skip them. So anyways, I, I'm taking too long talking about that. You're waiting on me. Hubby's waiting on me. I need to get going. <laughs> so the bars that I did pick up from the Bring Back My Bar, these are all going to be Bring Back My Bar. I picked up two in Beach. I had this before when it came out. I think it was maybe 2020 and I know it has papaya I usually cannot stand papaya in a scent and I remember like I don't really remember what it smelled like per se because it's been quite a while since I did it but what I did remember was that it performed well for me and that even though it had papaya I wasn't like overly opposed. I didn't think, oh gosh, that's horrible because of the papaya. No, I, I kind of think I re remembered semi liking it. So I thought, okay, I'll get two. Maybe, and smelling it right now, I'm thinking, wow, it actually smells really good, really good. So I may pick up a few more of those because I don't think it's gonna go into the club. Next, I picked up three, I think a for now, I think I put it in my club, but I may just pick up a couple of more and let it go at that. I did pick up three churro churro with the big intention that I really wanted to be able to do this with apple butter frosting. But like I've said before, apple butter frosting has to come back for me to do that. So I don't know. I don't want to keep it in my club and then it doesn't, you know, perform. I mean, it doesn't perform and apple butter frosting doesn't come back. 
It smells relatively medium. I don't remember how the other ones smelled before, the ones that I had. Because um, obviously the last one that I did, I'd probably had at least two years. Because if it came back and bring back my bar, that means it's not supposed to be able to come back unless it's been gone for two years. So that means my bar had to be at least two years old. And was it stronger because I'd had it for two years? Had it gotten weaker because it's older? I'm, I'm really not sure. But this one smells relatively light medium. Not, I wouldn't even go so far as medium, maybe light medium. So I don't know. I may pick up one or two more just even, you know, worst case scenario, if apple butter frosting doesn't come back anytime soon, then uh, I just use it as a blender for something else. But I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for apple butter frosting. Next one, I picked up just one of Fuzzy Blanket. I like Fuzzy Blanket. It's just not a favorite for me. I've never been a lavender lover. So, um, I, sweet lavenders, I don't mind. I think they're pretty good. And if this was, let me put it this way. If this was Snuggle Up, I would have gotten way more than one. Um, I do have probably two probably two in my inventory from the last time it was in the bring back my bar so i figured one would give me three i don't warm it very often um i don't i don't need to have a stockpile of it because it's just not a favorite i i like it but it's just not a favorite so i figured okay one yeah just pick up one the next one is hemingway now, Hemingway, I love. I picked up four. And I think I put it in my club for now at like two quarter, no, bi-monthly. I think two bi-monthly. Um, so Hemingway, I love. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I get this woods note and apple, a pretty apple, a sweet apple. I... I just really enjoyed Hemingway from the last time it came back, and I definitely think I want to keep Hemingway for now. Next one is I picked up three of Plum and White Woods. I'm trying to remember. I think that I think it was Plum and White Woods, and who? Oh my gosh. I've forgotten. It's been so long because, you know, when did this come back? Like maybe 2020, 2021, maybe 2021. And so, you know, it's been maybe two years since I saw this email, uh, this message, or this comment. But I think this was the scent that somebody had lost from their club or something. And um, I think Patricia G wound up sending her a bunch of bars or something. And then, it, and then it came back in clearance and she was able to pick up a bunch. But, you know, when I see a scent like that, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of people and comments and stuff like that. So this is a beautiful scent. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll probably pick up a few more. I don't know that I'm going to put it in my club. I may put it in the quarterly club or the buy. Yeah, I think quarterly, probably quarterly. And again, try to skip so that um, so that I can make a decision whether or not this is something that I absolutely want to keep in my club or just have a few of. Next one is the one that I had already picked up in the, I said that I couldn't remember, Rustic Lodge. I picked up two Rustic Lodge. I, I did enjoy it. I did remember it once I smelled it on warm. I knew it was very familiar. And, you know, when I kept, when I warmed it that day, I thought, gosh, I, you know, because I think I just did one cube. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's see. One cube. I put it in that little garden warmer on my desk. And the whole day I kept thinking, I know I know this scent. I know I know it. It's just too familiar. And so, yes, I did find it in my inventory listing. So, from before. So, I got two more of those. And I also put this in my club. But I don't. 
I kind of don't think it's going to stay there. I think I may pick up a couple of more and that's it for a Rustic Lodge. Not because I don't think it's a beautiful scent, but if I start looking at like Hemingway, Plum and White Woods, Lavender and White Balsam, Rustic Lodge, and other, you know, fall scents that I like. I've said before, being in the Houston area, I mean, today is supremely hot, supremely hot. And it tends to be warm here more months than it is cool. So, you know, I think I even made the comment that when they had the catalog the way it was, I think we would switch in August to the fall catalog. Yeah, July and August are the hottest months here. So August, yeah, I wasn't warming anything fall. September sometimes is still pretty hot, not ready for fall at that point. Sometimes around the middle of October, it might start to get a little cool and I might be able to start doing some, but usually around that time, that's when I'm like, okay, I wanna do something like ghostly greetings for Halloween time. And then November, I start thinking, okay, I wanna do um, things towards Thanksgiving and all the LTOs are coming out and I have those that I wanna do. So realistically, how often am I gonna be able to even warm these, right? If I lived in a climate where, you know, the cooler months were at, you know, anywhere from five to six months at least, then I'd have more time to warm these things, but I really just don't. And I don't wanna wind up having a large stash of these that I just can't use fast enough, right? So I think I'm just gonna pick up one or two more and just kind of call it quits on that one. The next one I picked up, I got two of Southern Sweet Tea. And I've done this before and I know it's supposed to smell, it smells like a peach tea. And amazingly, up until maybe two years ago, except for an actual peach, a real peach that I could eat. I would be like, don't give me canned peaches. I don't want things that smell like peach. I just did not like peach. And so back when this was around before, I would have said, oh, peach tea. Like, no, I just don't. And now I have an appreciation for peach scents and peach tea. Like only, only one particular one, right? Like I can make a pitcher of um, iced tea, right? With no, no flavoring or whatever. And then I will get the, um, it's a specific one. It's the Tarani white peach syrup, right? Cause I think they have a peach syrup. I like the white peach syrup. And I actually gave my husband a bottle to take to work to like, put in the break room. Cause they have, um, they got like machines and stuff to make fresh brewed iced tea. I was like, so that, you know, maybe somebody will like it there too. And he's like, oh yeah, they, they pretty much finished the first bottle already. And he had taken two bottles with him. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, see, I told you, it's such a great flavor with tea. So if you've never tried, if you can get your hands on some Tarani white peach syrup. Mm, mm, mm. So Southern sweet tea. Oh, that does smell good. See now, now when I smell it, I think, I think I might like this. Whereas a couple of years ago, I would have said, no, I don't know. I don't like peach. So that would be an example of how preferences change, how, I, like I said before, the scent palette matures, right? I didn't like peach before and now I'm starting to like it. Kind of happy about that, but I don't think I'm gonna need, maybe I'll pick up one more, but that's not something I think I'm gonna need for my club. I don't know, I might warm, I might have to place the order after work tomorrow or something because I might try to do that one tomorrow in the kitchen just to see how much I like it to see whether or not I'd want to pick up several more. All right, uh, the next thing, I only picked up one because this is one scent that is will definitely go in my club. I don't even have to think twice. I pulled it out of my club when they announced what the winners were for this Bring Back My Bar. So I know it's going right back in and you probably already know which one that is. Vanilla suede. I absolutely love this one. I just want to see if it smells lighter or about the same. It would actually smells, I think it actually smells stronger in the clam than my last one did. Oh my 
goodness, I love that scent. That's one that will go in my club and yeah, staying in there. Then I picked up three white sands. I'm trying to remember, I think I have several white sands. I'll need to look at my inventory. I, I get confused on my inventory between white sands and Rio beach. I think one of them, one of them was like four and the other one might be seven. So I need to look at which one has seven. Cause if I have seven white sands, three is all I need. You know, I don't need more than 10. That'll keep me going for a while. Very nice. It, when, this is one that when you smell it on cold, you could easily think, no, I don't think I like that. But it warms wonderfully, wonderfully. So if you smelled it on cold and think, no, I'll put this to the side, I don't like it. If you even halfway like sense that I like, give it a try. At least give it a try. One cube somewhere. See how you, how you like it. And then the last one I did three of was white out um this is another one that i'm like i don't know what i want to do i i like white out and i mentioned before in a video gosh a long time ago that white um i used to mix three cents together and the license bar and the other uh, the other one of them was a license bar it came out around the same time that the, this came out in the Bring Back My Bar the last time. And the other scent was from that same Bring Back My Bar that this one was in last time. So I used to mix the North Calls, White Out, and Mad About Mint. I used to mix those three together and really enjoy it. So I obviously, I have the North Calls in my club now. I could put out White Out, but I only have like maybe two maybe three if i'm lucky i'd have to look at my inventory of mad about mint and mad about mint has that spearmint scent to it so the the mint that this has along with i think apple and something else so the mint you get from this with the spearmint from mad about mint and then that soft sweet mint from the north calls they would blend together so well i really liked it so I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about white out. I'd like to club it. I'm just not sure at this point. So I've got a lot of thinking to do when it comes to my club. Um, I definitely have certain ideas about what I want to do. It's just going to come down to what makes the cut and what doesn't. So this is what I picked up from the bring back my bar. Again, this is going up on Friday the 30th. So today is the last day to either stock up or put it in your club. I hope that um, you, I hope that you get what you want and you don't regret any of the choices that you make, whether it be putting something in your club that you didn't want or forgetting to put something in your club that you really feel afterwards that you should have. So anyways, hope that you enjoyed. Please give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to seeing you again or hearing from you and hope that you get all the different scents that you'd love to have. But until next time, enjoy your scents, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.